on the underworld to smash gangland comes the friend of the unfortunate, enemy of criminals. A mysterious, all-powerful character, a problem to the police. But a crusade of the law. In reality, Dan Garrett, a rookie patrolman, loved by everyone but suspected by none of being the Blue Beetle. As the Blue Beetle, he hides behind a strange mask and a suit of impenetrable blue chain armor, flexible as silk but stronger than steel. Today's episode of the Blue Beetle is entitled Death Strikes from the East. In the city's Chinatown, sons of the Orient are restless, uneasy. The police department expects war between rival tongues to break out at any moment and is prepared. What is behind this uneasiness? Is it something that concerns only the Chinese? Or is there an occidental hand at work pulling the strings like a phantom puppeteer? As our story opens, patrolman Dan Garrett, who in secret is the Blue Beetle, discusses the situation with his friend and confidant, Dr. Franz, in his little apothecary shop. You know, Doc, leaning here on this counter, it's hard to realize that you and I are only a few city blocks away from the Orient. You're referring to Chinatown? Yeah. I wish I knew what was going on down there. Do you think rival tongues are about to war on each other? No, nope, I don't. Then what do you think is causing this unrest the newspapers speak of? Fear and resentment, resentment? Of whom? Of us. You mean the police? No. The white race. But what have we done to them? We don't molest them. No, it isn't that. I think there's some sort of a racket going on down there. Are you going to do anything about it? Well, I'm going to ask the chief to assign me to a beat in Chinatown. Ah, uh, you'd better be careful, Danny. You could disappear down there and no one would ever find you. Oh, I'll be careful, all right. I've got a friend down there. A Chinese? Yeah. Restaurant keeper, Ling Wan. Cultured gentleman. I saved his life once, and he's never forgotten. I would imagine he could be very helpful. Well, I've got to run down to headquarters now. Maybe Mannigan and I can both get assigned to that district. Well, good luck to you, Danny boy. Thanks, Doc. So long. Patrolman Dan Garrett is headed for the Orient. You know, Danny, it's a wonder to me that there ain't more big fires down here in Chinatown. Why, Mike? Well, everything's so congested. How is a fire engine ever going to get through here? Well, I'd be willing to bet that if I should sound a siren on this car, we'd have a clear track ahead almost immediately. Yeah, them babies can certainly scatter in a hurry. <laughs> hey, what's that, though? That bug smashing up that Chinese restaurant. Come on, Mannigan. That looks like Ling Wan's place. Okay. They offer it, blast you. All right, now, all right, pipe down. Where's the guy what done this? The whirlwind has struck. Who knows whether the whirlwind go it? Hey, what kind of talk is that? Whirlwind me eye. It was a bunch of hoodlums. Rolling one. Ah, my friend, the Honorable Dan Garrett. After the whirlwind, the face of the sun appears to spread light upon a dark and dirty scene. I'm afraid the face of the sun has appeared too late to be of any help to you, Ling Wan. That which has been is done. Yeah, but where's the law? And we want to know who done it. Uh, Ling Wan, this is my friend and brother officer, Mike Mannigan. The devastation which is mine is honored by the presence of a friend of the brave and honorable Dan Garrett. Well, now, uh, we'd like to get the facts in this case. Uh, suppose you let me talk with Ling Wan Mannigan. Well, you make a report on this. I've had a hunch something like this was happening frequently here in Chinatown. say, Ling Wan, that if a merchant refuses to pay tribute money to the one you call the Purple Dragon, or to buy his merchandise through him, his shop is wrecked as yours was just now? That is true, my friend. The Purple Dragon controls the commerce of Chinatown. But what happens if the merchant still refuses to deal with the Purple Dragon after his place of business is wrecked? 
some member of his family disappears. If it is an elder son, he meets the hatchet man in some dark street. If a younger son, he is found strangled. If the merchant has only daughters, one of them is kidnapped and offered as a human sacrifice to please the Tibetan earth goddess. Do you mean to say that they're actually sacrificed? Killed? There is a ceremonial conducted by the purple dragon which includes human sacrifice. Before the ceremony, however, the victim's hair is cut off and sent to her parents. If a sufficient amount of money is paid, the victim is released. Good Lord, Ling Wan. Why haven't the police been informed of this? One does not seek certain death needlessly. The purple dragon spies are everywhere. Well, Ling Wan, you're taking a great risk in having me in your home. But I assure you something will be done immediately to end this state of affairs. Who is this purple dragon? Have you any idea? He must be a powerful oriental. There is a growing suspicion that the purple dragon is not of our race, but of yours. What? A white man? I am sorry to say it, my friend, but it is so. Well, Dan Garrett is going to do something about that, and he's starting right now. I've sworn to uphold the law, to serve justice, to drive every crooked racketeer from this city. This extortion racket must be smashed. Doc, I've never heard of such a fiendish method of extracting money from honest businessmen. And you say Ling Wan believes the purple dragon to be a white man? That's right. He must be a very rich man. Yes, I imagine there are very few who refuse to pay tribute or to purchase their supplies through that crook. Well, so far as you know, the Purple Dragon has confined his extortion activities to Chinese merchants. Yes. I feel certain that if his operations extended beyond the confines of Chinatown, the police would have heard of it. I wonder what the extra's about. Well, just a minute, Doc. I'll buy a paper. Read all about it. Commissioner Warren's daughter kidnapped. Here you are, boy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, what do you know about this, Doc? Well, what is it, Danny? Commissioner Warren's daughter was kidnapped last night as she left a dance at the casino. Commissioner Warren? Yes, the commissioner of markets. Oh, I wonder what's back of that. The kidnappers can't expect to get much money out of Warren. He's not wealthy. No, and he's one of our most efficient officials. Say, you don't think. Well, what is it, Danny? I'm going over to Commissioner Warren's house and make a little investigation. Hey, hey, what's that? Uh, someone just threw a stone through the store window. Oh, here it is. There's a note tied to it. Well, what does it say, Danny? It says, Devastating tornado descend upon honorable place of business if inquisitive patrolman Garrett extend nose into Chinatown. And it's signed the Purple Dragon. Uh, let me see that note. Here yeah. Apparently written with a brush, such as Chinese use. Yes, yes, but uh, but it wasn't written by a Chinese. What do you mean? The Chinese writing is distinctive. The technique of Chinese brush writing is such that even if a Chinese were writing in English, the brush marks would be distinctively Chinese. Uh, this note was written by a man who at one time might have lettered addresses on shipping cases. Uh, a shipping clerk, I would say. Well, that's very interesting, Doc. Uh, the Purple Dragon, or whoever writes his notes for him, is a white man. Well, Doc, this note spikes my guns. I can't endanger you and your business. Oh, don't be silly, Danny. Don't be silly. Your duty comes first. I can take care of things here. And just let somebody start something. There are things in my laboratory back there that will make them wish they'd stayed away. Well, I've got to be going, Doc. Take care now and don't worry. I'm not going to Chinatown. My next call is in the opposite direction. <laughs> Commissioner Warren, I, I've been assigned by the police commissioner to do a little investigating in this case. Yes, I'm glad you have, my boy. I'd appreciate any information you could give me, Commissioner. I'll give you what I can. Have you... Uh, have you any enemies? Yes, plenty of them. 
In my position, there are bound to be individuals and groups who resent my interference with their attempts to extort money from the firms that do business with the city. So, there is an extortion racket. Well, yes. At least I am convinced that many merchants are paying out money to protect their goods and places of business from destruction. In, uh, in Chinatown, for instance? Well, yes. How did you know? I have a friend in Chinatown. Mm, I see. Well, to be frank with you, I've been conducting a quiet investigation down there. Do you think your daughter's kidnapping is in retaliation? I'm certain it is. Why? Now, this note. I received it about an hour ago. Here, read it. Mm. The Tibetan earth goddess is angry. You are interfering with her plans. Unless you cease your efforts, you will never see your daughter again. Signed, the Purple Dragon. This note was written by a white man also. I beg pardon, what did you say? Hmm? Oh, I, uh, I said this note was written... Uh, excuse, please. A messenger leave package for Honorable Commissioner. Uh, thanks, Ling Chow. Who was it? Ling Chow, no, see. Messenger, push button, leave package on doorstep, run away. All right, Ling Chow, you may go. Uh, better not open that, Commissioner. Hmm? Might be a time bomb or some type of infernal machine that'll explode when opened. It doesn't feel heavy enough. Any sound of ticking? Not that I can hear. Well, let me have that package. I'll open it. You stand over there. Now be careful, Garrett. Boss can't afford to lose men like you, you know. Thanks, Commissioner. Well, here goes. Hmm. What is it? A box full of golden hair. My daughter. Her hair is that color. You don't think that Oh, she... no, she's not dead yet, but something will have to be done quickly, and I'm going to do it. What are you going to do, Dan? I've got a hunch. And I'm going to play it. What can I do to help? Call up the Income Tax Bureau and find out if you can which two or three persons in the city showed the greatest increase of income last year. Also, find out anything else you can about them. When you get the information, phone it to Dr. Franz or to me at his shop. I'm certain that one of these persons will prove to be the Purple Dragon. <laughs> 